So in today's video, I'm gonna give you an update of one month with the Apple Watch Solo Loop. So we all saw a little bit of the controversy with, or well essentially the size and problems that a lot of people had, all right? People couldn't get their right size. The app and the system Apple used to measure people's wrists were a little bit all over the place. So after one month of taking it off and putting it back on and the stretching that happens while doing that, the question is how did it hold up? The first thing to talk about, I would say is the fit. Now, fit wise, it's basically been the same from day one, which to be honest is a bit of a surprise because I was actually expecting that it might have loosened slightly. But in fairness, it still fits the exact same uh, tightness or looseness, it's, it fits perfect still. Now let's talk a bit about durability. Now if, in, if you're talking about functionality, as I've said, it still fits the tightness or the fit is still the same. But there have been some slight marks that have appeared on my version and I and you have to think I've got the black version so you would think that on the lighter color versions this might be more of an issue so it's subtle it's not something that jumps out at you but at the same time it is worth mentioning there is uh, marks on it um, and I'm not really sure what they are to be honest but they do stay there now after one month of using it the question I'm kind of ask myself was is this worth it so the whole point of this solo loop band is essentially that there's no clasp it's meant to be a bit easier to put on and take off so there's kind of two benefits I'm guessing um, from having this solo loop design so less bulky because there's no clasp and also time wise you can just pull it off and take it off now if we look at time honestly it's not really that much of a benefit because i think the sport loop i have can be taken off and put on at the same speed as the solo loop and then if you look at it in terms of bulk i suppose you could argue that there's uh, less bulk here underneath but to be honest it's not it's pretty marginal it's pretty marginal i don't i don't feel that that would be a deal breaker or it's adding that much value to somebody's life to be honest after a month of using this is it worth it i when i first saw this i thought it was kind of cool just to have something that you can slip on and off but after a month of using it it's cool and i you know it, it's still really comfortable i still stand by that but maybe it's not so much worth it but um i think it's definitely better than getting the braided one i think the braided one's about 100 pounds 100 dollars that is that is just ridiculous don't buy that um that that's way too much money this may be marginally worth it i would say if you are thinking about it just maybe wait wait a couple months and then maybe you can get one on a sale or a deal for like half price or something and then I mean it's really it's really comfortable you know at least and considering I'm pretty much using this kind of more for like casual at home um, and with a little bit of like exercise thrown in it's fine it works fine for my needs so it's been no problem so overall it's held up pretty well um, like I said over time it hasn't gotten any looser it still fits perfectly it's still nice and light there is a little bit of wear um, but no no tear anyway um, it still functionally works perfectly I may not be rushing out to buy you know all the different colors because um, I think it's just okay but basically how I would describe the Apple solo loop is it is fine you know it's just fine it does the job don't expect anything spectacular or special it's just fine thanks for watching this video i hope this helped uh, you make your purchasing decision please comment and like and subscribe if you found this helpful the road to a thousand still continues uh, if you want to join the journey please hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one